Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you guys what I do before a show. This is usually something that I do when it's a big show and also I haven't really done this even though I wanted to for so long because I didn't have a place to do it at. So I finally have a garage. I'm finally going to be able to detail the car the way that I want to. But unfortunately, I wouldn't say it's the way that I want to. Um, sort of going to do it halfway because I'm short on time and I have other things to do. It's already 5 o'clock in the evening and I'm supposed to leave at... 4 o'clock in the well I'm supposed to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning tomorrow so I'm a little bit short on time so I'm gonna be doing just a one stage uh, correction and the car's really not that bad so it's really not going to need two stages even though I would prefer to do it with almost every car that I do and I just thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys um, how you can do this yourself and how you can do it low budget and always be able to do it because whenever you actually take your car to get a detailed um, you're looking at between $250 to $400 uh, for somebody to do it. And honestly, you can actually get all, all the uh, equipment that you can that you would need for about $100. And obviously, the, lo the more you do it, the more you'll kind of figure out how exactly to do it. But with this, you don't have to worry about burning your paint unless you actually sit on the car for a long period of time with putting a whole bunch of pressure on it um, other than that I mean it's I guess you can say it's dummy proof um, but the polisher that I use is actually from Harbor Freight I got it for like $50 I think 55 it's a little bit loud <clears throat> but I've had this thing for a couple years now maybe I think I want to say maybe three years I've used it a few times obviously it's not something that I use consecutively but um, it's done the job so the let me show you guys what the uh, polisher looks like <clears throat> so this is the uh the polisher this is the one that i got from harbor freight now i don't think they sell this one anymore um it's chicago electric power tools but um i think they have another one that's very similar to this but i think it was like for a six inch disc or six or seven i can't remember and these are the pads that i use Typically the orange one is the first pad that I go with and these are from chemical guys So I have two pads because I usually use two pads uh, per car. So I'm only using the orange today but To I guess if you want to do the polishing this is a, a little bit more for finer um, swirl marks So this is kind of a step that you do after the orange <clears throat> Sorry, I also if my voice is kind of um, scratchy uh, I am trying to fight a cold which is something that I've always realized that this year every time that there is a show I start to get a little bit sick I don't know why um, it, just, it sucks but I mean I was feeling a lot worse yesterday so I'm doing better so I'm hoping that tomorrow it's you know it's getting better than what it is now but I got my microfibers so we're just gonna put these over here Gonna take these out because I'm actually gonna be doing it right now. And um, also, before we get more into the video, the company that I got the hood from <clears throat> sent these out, and this actually kind of, I guess, works uh, as good timing for me because I really don't have anything to put my detailing supplies. So what I'm gonna do is use this. As you guys see it's got a carbon fiber style material it actually feels pretty good and the funny thing is that I'm using a similar material to wrap some of my interior trim which I'm not sure if uh, which depending which video comes out first either you guys have already seen it or you guys haven't um, but there I guess if you want to store them you can fold them like this but then <clears throat> Kind of hard to do it with one hand. All right, so there we have two slots. So let's go ahead and I'll put this one in the trunk. This is something that you guys can actually use for different reasons, uh, different purposes. So I'm going to be putting in my cleaning supplies in here. And obviously, obviously other people can use it for their groceries. If you would like to keep a pair of shoes and a change of clothes in the car for whatever reason, you know, you can actually use this. And 
It's pretty neat. It's nice uh, that it's black, so it doesn't stick out too much in the trunk. But uh, yeah, so I'm not really gonna put anything in here right now because I'm still using some of my supplies. Um, I'm gonna take this, Rain-X Waterless. I'm not sponsored by anybody, so I just have a mixture of things right here. So if anybody wants to sponsor me, hit me up. And so we'll get back to this in a little bit. Um, we'll do, actually, I'm gonna leave that for right now. But yeah, so I'm just gonna leave that there because I'll put everything in once I'm ready to go and get everything that I need. All right guys, so typically when I, I do a polishing, if it's really, really bad, I would use this one, which is a V34. This has to be like really aggressive. And if I can find a picture, I'll actually upload it on here uh, for you guys. And I know I have it somewhere, so I should be able to have uh, upload it. And what I did was somebody ended up sending the car and I had to, I don't know why they did it. So I ended up wet sending the car and then I did V34 then V36 and then V38. So it was pretty much completely gone. But normally for a car, I would just do V36 for the uh, orange pad. And then for the white pad, I would do V38. And then that's usually the uh, the combination that I did. But now I recently purchased this, which was the, it's VSS. The guys, um, they actually were saying that it was similar to the V36. So I'm just going to be doing this uh, because I'm not going to be doing V38. So we'll do one stage of V30, uh, I'm sorry, VSS. And then I'll go back and do this uh, cherry wet wax by hand. I know a lot of people do ceramic coating and I wanted to, except I've had the thought of getting this thing wrapped. And once you ceramic coat the car, you really can't wrap it because then you'd have to go back and take everything off. So. That's something I haven't really done yet because obviously the thought of wrapping it is still there, but part of me is leaning more to keeping it white. So if you guys want to leave it, uh, want me to leave it white, let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd like to see this in a different color next year, let me know. So I'm not trying to make this video too long because I do have to get to work. And um, pretty much I'm just gonna give you guys the process of what this is and then I'm just probably going to do a little bit of time lapse and kind of give you small updates here and there. So before you even start any detail uh, job, this is the most important thing, the play bar. So this is actually going to take all the, um, I guess you guys can say dirt that sticks to uh, the paint. And a lot of the times it usually sticks more on the roof and on the back of the bumper. So I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it, but let me see. So let me get my phone. All right, so let's see here. I don't think you can actually see it on camera, but the bumper has a lot of specs and whenever I uh, rub on it, you can actually feel where it's kind of bumpy. So the clay bar is going to take everything out and the rear bumper does have a little few scuff marks here and there that I should be able to polish out. But yeah guys, uh, pretty much the clay bar is self-explanatory. Whoop, what happened here? <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the process. Pretty much, you take the bar, you spray with uh, the quick detail and then spray the car and then you just scrub it. And then you'll actually feel the uh, stuff actually coming off as you go. And uh, yep, just read the uh, directions and uh, you'll be good to go. And then you can go, that's when you can actually start doing your uh, polishing. So luckily I don't have to do the hood and the bumper because it was recently repainted. So I'm gonna skip that. And hopefully that'll cut sh uh, time short. I'm not clay barring the side skirt because like I said, I don't have time. I'm trying to do everything as quick as possible because I still have some other things to do and I don't feel like staying up till 12 o'clock doing this. So, Cause then I will only have like four hours to sleep. But anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, get to work and um, I'll give you guys an update in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Alright guys, so now that you've clay barred the whole car, you should be able to feel a difference in the paint. Mine wasn't really that bad, it was just the rear bumper and it was a little bit rough and then once I did the uh, clay bar, it actually uh, went back to being smooth again. So the reason why you want to do that is because when you start polishing, you don't want your pad to pick up that dirt because then that dirt is going to be stuck onto your pad and then as you're polishing, you're just going to be scratching the paint once again. So that's the whole purpose of clay barring the whole car, getting rid of any con uh, contamination that's on the paint. And um, so you'll have a uh, complete surf uh, you'll have a completely clean surface uh, where you can actually uh, polish and uh, not have to worry about scratching it. All right, so we're gonna place our pad onto the uh, polisher, and then what I do is just place dots going all the way across the uh, pad. Technically, I'm supposed to space them out, but that just, it, it all depends. Uh, you don't want to put on too much because then you'll be throwing it all over the place. So once you have the wax on your pad, I just usually just hit it, hit it with a splash of uh, quick detail. That way, so you can just kind of soften up the pad. And then I don't have it plugged in right now, but pretty much I just start dabbing at it. kind of spread it all the way around the, the, the actual area that you're going to be polishing. Alright, so once you do that, um, I like to start at the lowest speed, which is one, and then I'll just take it all the way across, um, moving side to side slowly. And pretty much that's rubbing in the, uh, the compound into the paint. And then once I'm done with doing this, I actually move it up to the last speed, the six speed. And then I just start kind of going from left to right. And then once I get to the right side, work my way down and then go to the other section. And then pretty much, so you're just going like this and then like this, kind of like a S motion. And if you want to, you can actually, always, I end up doing it. Uh, and this is something that I'm not 100% sure if it's the correct way, but depending how bad it is, I end up going up and down. Um, so pretty much a S motion, but in a uh, square. Instead of going horizontal, I end up going vertically. So that's what I end up doing. Uh, like I said, my paint's really not in that bad of condition, so I might just go one way. Uh, I'm just gonna be the judge of it. And pretty much whenever you guys do yours, um, you can kind of be the judge of it as well. And you, once you uh, start doing the, uh, the S motion with the uh, polisher, Eventually you're going to see that the wax is kind of going to be going away. So you sh really don't want to be left with too much wax on, on the car because then that's just uh, overdoing it. I, I might have actually overdone it on this one, but I think we should be okay. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with having too much wax except that the pad can't actually do the cutting that it's meant to do uh, if it has too much wax on, to, on the uh, actual panel. So just kind of be the uh, the judge of that. Um, if you do one panel and you realize that you did too much, just play, just apply a little bit less uh, on the next one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do the whole car. I'll probably answer a time lapse right after this. And um, once I'm done with the whole thing, I'll kind of show you guys uh, how it turned out, even though it's really not gonna be that much noticeable on camera. Mm -hmm. 